So there I was minding my own business. And suddenly as I'm scrolling Reddit, I see a random post in r slash I am the main character. So for those of you who don't know, it's basically a subreddit that posts, uh, people post content to just containing videos of people who truly believe that everything is about them, that they are indeed the main character and try to, you know, make a point that puts them out there, puts them at the forefront and makes them out to be more important than they actually are. And today's topic is about a guy who has no idea, first of all, how to talk to women, number one, and number two, for some reason, truly believes that this is the best way to go about conducting business. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll play the clip for you. Y'all like bodybuilders? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, bodybuilders? Yeah. I like skinny, scrawny guys. How about multimillionaires? How about eight inches and thick? So we're already off to a bad start. Basically, this girl answers their question that she's not into bodybuilders and she likes skinny, scrawny guys, which is fine. There's It's a preference. There's nothing wrong with that. And this guy takes it to the heart, to the cojones, which is not the heart, but still. And he loses it, just starts going on a tangent. Just how about multimillionaires? Is <laughs> is this supposed to change her mind? Is that, that you know, she likes skinny, scrawny guys, not bodybuilders, but because you're a multimillionaire, it's going to change her mind. I think the most crazy thing is that he decides that he's going to say, how about eight inches in thick? My brother in Christ, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? You're scaring the hoes. This is not how you go about getting people to, to like you, to maybe join your side on any kind of debate or anything like that. That is just an insane way to conduct a conversation. Hey, do you like X? No, I, I like Y. <laughs> How about the fact that I have money and that my cock can poke your uterus? How about that one? Like, oh, <laughs> what is wrong with you? That is not how you conduct a conversation. How about talented? How about loving and respectful? He goes on to other points, basically about how he is talented and loving and respectful. I think the only thing he's talented at is trauma dumping onto people and making a complete and utter fool of himself. You know, I don't think that this was a good look. And you can even see some of the people in the background that are just staring at him and thinking, what the fuck is going on with this guy over there? Why is he like losing his mind? I don't know if it's maybe he's on steroids and they are just taking over his mind. But this guy is just off his rocker, completely losing it over some over an answer to a question that I guess he just didn't enjoy. I lost my wife 10 weeks ago, 21 years faithful. My daughter committed suicide three weeks ago. Oh, shit. Even the actual owner of the YouTube channel, the guy holding the microphone, his name is Israel. Even he is just like in pure shock, bewilderment at what is coming out of this guy's mouth. He, even, he just goes like damn you know because this is just insanity this makes no sense whatsoever when this man eventually passes away they really should conduct a study on his brain to see what like kind of what neurons are firing and when how does he make this connection how does he leap from what girls are attracted to asking what these women are attracted to to my daughter killed herself so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Like, what are we supposed to do with this information? It's just insanity. 13, she was faster than me at 12, and I run a six minute mile. At this stage, I'm really not sure what else to say. I, I think like part of me, half of my brain is just in the stage of like, am I missing out on part of the lore? How did we get here? How did we move from, we were talking about two seconds ago, we were talking about loving and respectful, which he is not. Two seconds before that, we were talking about his dick. And then two seconds before that, she was talking about how she likes scrawny guys. And then the other half of my brain is going, wait, I'm not missing out on part of the lore. This guy's filling me in. This guy right here is is keeping me up to date on all the happenings in his legendary lifespan. Because it seems like it, this is just a series of unfortunate events. This is like a, a novel in the making and I can't wrap my head around it. I think my my pea brain is just overloaded. Ultimately, though, I don't think it's right that he would bring up his daughter and wife 
passing away. Uh, it's unfortunate. It has nothing to do with this situation. I think he needs to seek help so that he can properly get past it and everything like that. But he does not need to be just filling in random people on the beach about the unfortunate happenings going on in his life. I, I really think this guy, I think the person recording the video and the YouTuber that is holding the microphone need to step in and just be like, oh, okay, big guy, it's time to sit this one out. It's time to go, let's go to your happy place, okay? there's You're on a beach. I'm sure there's ice cream available somewhere. Why don't you go cool your feet in the water and enjoy some Rocky Road ice cream? My testimony, I'm nothing but fear, and I ask you if you want to be in the YouTube channel. And you like scrawny guys. I know you trauma dump on us like that. Damn. And finally, we reach the resolution of this story. This guy just finishes off with, uh, I asked you if you wanted to be in the YouTube video, and you hit me with the this ridiculousness of, you like scrawny guys. And then he just stomps away. He's just off to pound the sand and make a sand castle and tell the other kids that are joining him that his daughter committed suicide and that he is eight inches in thick. It's insanity. What this guy is going through, his reaction was just not that of a normal person. I don't think he's healthy. I don't think he's processing the loss of his wife and his daughter very well. And he just took it out on some random bystanders on the beach, which is, and, and it's just crazy. Like leaving her with her own thoughts of, yeah, you ruined this. You're the problem here, not me. Not me and my issues and my trauma. You're the problem, toots. So, suck on that lollipop. Hmm. I hope you. I hope you're proud of what you've done, you home wrecker, or I don't know, some foolishness like that. This guy's just completely lost his mind, and I think he really just needs to seek help. And hopefully, when he left the video, he went to go do that. Anyways, that was basically it. I just wanted to showcase something wild that I found. Anyways, peace.